What up, YouTube? I'm Topaz Jason. I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Rubio Beats. And then we're going to jump into this review for this Dave East. And then we're going to take some questions. So this Dave East double up, man, is pretty much just a track of him spitting and such, man. Like, and if you was just listening to the hook, you would be thinking that, okay, this is just that classic underdog story of someone coming up from nothing, taking whatever they had, which damn near nothing, and then you double it into damn success, which that's kind of the hook, but... He's just spitting some random balls, and which he does a pretty damn good job on it, I'm not denying it, on top of some solid production. Overall, one of the better tracks that Dave East released lately, man, and one that I definitely recommend people to go ahead and peep out, man. Overall, solid from beat to hook to lyrics, man. But yet, I still believe he can do much better here, man. Like, Dave East has been dropping a bunch of music, but nothing that I'm like, okay, that's classic. I have to fucking download. I have to have that shit. I got to play that every damn day. Haven't gotten that from Dave East, in which... Since he's been getting the co-sign from Nas, man, you'd be like, okay, eventually that track has to come, right? But overall, has listened to like one or two mixtapes, a bunch of singles, and I still haven't gotten that track yet. And it's kind of frustrating a little bit, but yet the solid tracks like this, it helps me get by. But anyway, on to Ask, Down Low Pass. And YFGM says that... It's really weird that rappers, battle rappers and such actually rebut against each other, like go against exactly what somebody says. And that makes perfect sense though, my dude. Because here's the thing, a huge amount of money goes into this shit. And a lot of shit is on the line, especially when it comes to your reputation and shit. Like you do not want to lose a freestyle battle. Period. So therefore, why take the risk you did? Why not create something that you practiced over and over and over and do your absolute best to try to murder a rapper and such instead of just going off of what they said at that time, you dig? Like, whatever you could make up at that given time, it probably won't be as good as some shit that you planned months in advance. And Yoshi asks, am I going to talk about Rachel Darzell, if that's how you pronounce her name? Pretty much the white woman that got found to be a leader of the NAACP, in which more news been coming out on that shit all the time, man. Like how the NAACP is backing her and shit saying that, you know, race isn't a prerequisite to be a part of us and shit, which doesn't fucking surprise me. And then how she used her fake ethnicity to get some benefits as far as going to school and all of that shit. Now my thing is, it doesn't shock me not one damn bit, you dig? Because what the fuck has the NAACP done? in the last 10, 15 years. I mean, they have done so little, man. It's not surprising that people have conquered them from the inside and shit, dude. Fuck the NAACP, man. We need our own shit as individuals, man, and we got to follow a damn code in order to reach the success that we need to get up out of this slave shit, man. NAACP ain't here to help. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.